So Joe writes in, uh, good evening, gentlemen, and Pete. Uh, I heard that, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Just writing for help on using TailScale to route Netflix traffic through the exit node on my Apple TV. I have configured the TailScale app on my Apple TV and my iPad, and I'm really confused about what to do next. When I open the TailScale app, I see the two devices, which I is all I have set up. The iPad shows active, which I can turn off. I see the Apple TV, but no idea how to route the traffic through the exit node. Any suggestions or sources to read up on? This would be awesome. Thanks for everything. Love the show. Joe in Florida. Then he wrote a quick follow-up. I have the app on the Apple TV running as an exit node. I went into the dashboard to set up the routing to use Apple TV as an exit node. How to uh, ensure that the iPad traffic or another Apple TV, uh, once added, are running through the exit node? And and you right you answered your first question yep. uh, and and I but I, I just want to highlight that in order to so tail scale uh, we've talked about it a bunch on the show it is essentially creating your own wide area network of of just your devices so it's it's like taking the best of what happens on your local network and making it happen when your devices are distributed to all parts they could be local or they could be distributed you know all over the world as long as they have an internet connection tail scale generally works it's certainly there's i'm sure there's ways of filtering some it, serious magic going on it, well yeah it's using WireGuard, <laughs> but yeah. uh the idea of an exit node means taking all of your traffic and routing it uh through one device so that it seems like you are coming from that ip right uh and that can be helpful especially with an apple tv for things like uh you know fubo or youtube tv or netflix if you want everybody to be coming from the same location that can be valuable and the apple tv uh at least the current one supports uh things that way because it the the only way you geolocate it is by ip address so uh when you you can enable an exit node on in the settings for a device and then you have to go into the dashboard for tail scale on the web and turn it on and that that's what what he was saying that he did so that's step one step two then is to for, let's say you know you've got your exit node running on your apple tv great now you take your ipad and launch the tail scale app and once you connect to tail scale at that point you should see a big block at the top of the window that says uh that, that that shows exit nodes and it will list all of the devices that you've successfully configured as exit nodes and it will have a big button that says enable and you just tap that button and now you are running through that exit node and of course then the button will change from enable to disable and you can use it that way too so you can use tail scale with or without an exit node and you have that choice on the device but then once it's enabled and he sent in some more follow-ups uh for you know his you know how can his kids also use this you know when they're at college which is a great use of, of that we do it with our kids one in on the other side of new hampshire one on the other side of the planet and they all get to as far as any of our services are concerned their apple tvs are in our house here in new hampshire uh but once that's enabled visiting and and this you would do on your your iphone or something once you connect to an exit node visit what is my ip.com right and see does it report the same ip address that you have at home or is it reporting whatever ip address your iphone is on and that's a good easy way to test to see you know is it working and all of that i do have a note about this though i've mentioned put your Apple TV like we have and our, our kids have them in their, their respective homes and it all funnels through and everything works great. And that, as I said, is because IP address is the only way the Apple TV has of reporting its location. So once you're running through the exit node, everything works fine. However, your iPhone has other ways of reporting its location. Some iPads have ways of reporting their location with GPS. So, if you have a gps capable device all iphones are gps capable uh cellular ipads have gps in them uh it's possible and even likely that the makers of the apps like netflix or youtube 
uh, especially with YouTube TV, will be able to use Apple's location APIs and get your location from the GPS. And then that bypasses any IP address rerouting uh, that you're doing. Uh, Tailscale works great, as I said, to kind of spoof your location uh, with another Apple TV or another Mac, right? Because Macs don't have GPS circuits, at least not any that we, we've we seen yet, you know. But no, And non-Wi-Fi only iPads, yes. Uh, but otherwise, this might not work as well as you uh, would want. 